Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and it's been a while since I worked on this ship. I think this is what, part five or part four of building the ship? And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue on and carry on. So let's get started. So where we left off is we kind of finished off the bridge a little uh, with how the glass is shaped. And I do need to make this much bigger. I mean, I got the layout already planned out for the spaces of living quarters and everything that I want, especially the engines. But I still need to come up with an idea of where I want to actually place the engines for the front. So I've been playing a lot of Elite Dangerous recently and I kind of taken a liking to a ship that has engines like all the way up to here almost. And I don't know how I want to design it yet because there's so many blocks that I could use, but I can kind of want to alliterate on putting some engines up here, which might be really cool. So thrusters, let me just kind of get the idea of how it should look. Do I want to put big thrusters? I want the sci-fi thrusters. The sci-fi thrusters look way much better especially on a ship like this. So something like that might be what I'm looking for. To have two front thrusters here to slow down the ship, a bunch of side thrusters, you know, for left and right, a bunch of top and bottoms, and the engines obviously in the back as well. So I kind of need to figure out how I want to design this but I think this is the look I want to go for now what I can do is sh no I can't fit any more blocks in here I could shape this down a little bit to be a little bit more sharp and we got like those new corner blocks right corner blocks right here that's going to be able to help with most of the design do I have that? Is that right? Kind of looks right. Well, if I put that there, can I? Oh, yeah, I could. Well, that's not going to work. There you go. Hmm. Something similar to that, but yeah, you get the idea. So I'm going to be able to actually access uh, probably the... Wait, is that on that block? Engines this way too. I do need to get those rid of those doors for now because I have to come up with a better design for the bottom doors. I like the concept of having these armored doors and I will continue with that. I just need to know how wide I'm going to make the ship. So, being that this is going to be that wide, right? Uh, I'll, I'll bl blend in the corners later. I just need to come up with a mock-up of how I want this to look like and how it would actually come out. I might want to curve the corners a little bit more. See, I want those. That's what I want. Something similar to that. And then I know there's like this corner. There you go. These are the old blocks still. Something like that. And we'll see how that ends up. Because I could show off the bottom of that thing just to keep it unison. Yeah, not bad. Do I want this one? Yeah. What do you guys think? 
kind of keeping the motors up in uh, the things up in front. I have access to this. The room now could be extended a little bit. Or I could put a secondary room for something else, like a corridor to the back. And the nacelles, which I'm still planning to keep, will probably be somewhere around here. Like that will be the start of the nacelles. Because the nacelles will also, I guess, keep the front and rear. Um, I mean the, the thrusters for the sides. Kind of something similar to maybe like this. But if I do nacelles, I don't need these in the front because I can actually just maintain the entire thing through the nacelles, right? What I mean by that is uh, I could actually just do that and have front and rear thrusters. And I don't really need this part. That does look better though. Alright, you know what? Scratch that idea. It's not connected, right? It's all gone. It should not be powered anymore. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I do like that a little bit better. Having the nacelles like this. This is a space-driven ship. It's, it's not really going to be able to land on planets, believe me. As you can tell from the design already, but... Being able to at least do this... I have six, two big ones, and then kind of go over here and do the same thing. And start by just, oh, wrong block. Adding these things oh, on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Slap on this thruster. Add six of these. Then slap on the other thruster. And then I could design the way it looks. Now it's starting to look like Star Trek, guys. Which I don't mind. I mean, I really do like Star Trek, but we're gonna have to add like a bunch of bottom thrusters like right around these like weird crevices. So I can go down, and I'm going to need to add some weird ones up for going up, up or down, you know what I mean. And then I could start working on um, all the other stuff here, which is the gyro, uh, power banks, uh, a bunch of other stuff to make the ship run a little bit better and move a little bit better, mainly gyros and stuff. Ooh, since this is going to be a similar build, I should put a dish here, like a satellite dish or antenna dish. Like right over here, like the deflector. But then I can't keep this door down. Oh man, should I make it like Voyager? You know Voyager where the nacelles actually will fold up in warp drive and fold down when it's like normal cruising mode? That would be pretty cool. Completely pointless, but it would be really cool. And then I would put a jump drive here too. And then... Mm, possibly put two thrusters aiming each other. No, 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 no. Oh my god, what do you think of this? Uh, if I ran two exhaust pipes... Okay, this is just the concept, guys. But say I ran two exhaust pipes. Say this is the roof, okay? And I ran the exhaust as electrical arc fire pr 
probably that. And then this one does the electrical arc. Oh, that would look so cool. I mean, I could increase the power a little. And then this would be enclosed in glass. And it'll look like it's the warp drive. <laughs> oh. That's actually not that bad of an idea. Let me see if I play around with this. Um, so it's 0% power dependency. This is when I increase the speed. And then it'll... See, that's a little bit too wild. It doesn't do damage or anything, but it is causing some weird smoke. Oh, but you know what? Instead of using um, these two large ones, I could use like a small grid. You know what I mean? A small grid... Um, Uh, the exhaust to make it come out with a better effect because the two small ones are a little bit too small right now And then I could hide the whole thing make it look like it's that's a pretty cool idea though Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool idea. All right, so we have the engines kind of set up the way I want to I might want to put extend this a little bit more instead of six I'll put more because I really don't know how well it will fly because I don't have all the parts in place. But I do want to stick with this nacelle issue, nacelle design, and go forth with this. And then like I could cover this up, all right? And just make it look pretty cool. Well, this is not the right block for it. This would be the right block for it. Let's see. Come back this way and it'll have a better design like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so I probably won't copy the Elite Dangerous type of designs where they put the um, engines in front. But the nacelle designs, these actually will have to be extended a little bit further. It doesn't look good when it's too close to a ship like this, especially when I close up the armor mode. I might have to extend those a little bit, redesign it to make it look like a little bit better in the cells. But I do like this thought with the electrical arc and close it into a glass case and see it just basically arcing all day long. Yeah, see like if I look at it like this, it'll look pretty cool. Imagine it's all glass and you can see through it and you just see an arc happening. That is cool. Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, I still need to figure out a way how to get to the downstairs of this ship. I'm gonna extend this all the way back. This is gonna be wide. So I probably want to get to the bottom of the ship through here. This way I have access to it right away if I need to get the hangar. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. The back is gonna be closed off. I'll have all my stuff here, like gyros, like I was saying before, but access to the bottom level would be through this area and i will keep the doors awesome all right it's coming together guys i just gotta finish off this roof uh it's not a big ship this is more like a corvette you know like it's not a starship a starship would be a lot much bigger with more uh spaces i might want to do a starship in the future where it has like 20 50 rooms and a bunch of other stuff and it takes like just 10 minutes walking around i would love that but the, the amount of ideas you have to throw into it to design is insane. Because I've seen some of these big ships on the workplace and the workshop, and they are amazingly built. I don't know how they have the idea to come up with, like it's really, really good, some of them. But yes, oh, that is cool, come out. I might have to adjust where the doors are because this is where I usually would get out. And now the door, nope, this is fine. Because I would put a connector probably like here or something or probably on the lower slots. So it wouldn't be in the way. Or maybe the a connector would be on top. Definitely connectors in the docking bay. But yeah, this is looking really cool. Seal that up. 
so you can see that put windows all over here and then we'll do some cruising I do have to figure a way that we could actually get into get into the nacelles so if I ever need to repair it I could just walk into the nacelles so I might use doors I'm gonna have to think about that because I still want to be able to access inside of this nacelle like actually go in there and repair everything that I need to still like this idea so I'm gonna kind of go on with this and finish this up a little bit would that be the height of the back probably not because that might go I might make this go down a little bit yeah so this might go down this whole level might go down I don't like the fact that you could just walk right into that it might go down because the, the back is gonna come up and meet up over here the back could be a little bit lower so it might come down a little bit more than what I need to not what I need to like and then I'll have everything yeah that would be a good way all right I kind of got uh, an idea to go with now on how I want this to look and I could just start now putting in the rest of the design because I like how these are gonna work out I might have to put thrusters down here I'm not sure yet uh, because I, I need upwards thrusters and downwards thrusters so I'm gonna have to still plan those out but I do like the nacelles and how they're placed yeah well that is it for me guys if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe for more thanks for watching